start off by priming our eye, but before I do that, I'm just going to clip my hair back so I can actually work and not have hair in my face. The primer that I'm using today is going to be Urban Decay's Potion Primer, and this is in the color Eden, I think. Yeah, Eden. Um, as always, a full list of products will be in the description box below. The first shadow I'm going to be using is from the uh, Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original, and that first color is going to be Naked, which is my absolute favorite color in this entire palette. So I'm just going to take some of that color on a flat shader brush and begin to pack that color on. Just mainly focusing that color on my lid. The next color I am going to be using is also from the Naked Palette, and that is this color right here. This is Half Baked. Um, it is a gold color. And I chose this one because it doesn't come out super gold depending on um, how you use it. If you use it with a light hand, it's not going to come out super gold. And we're just going to take that gold color and put it right over top of that color we just put on uh, the color Naked, just over top of it. Next I'm just going to be taking a crease brush. This I think is from Target. Um, I'm not sure when I got this such a long time ago. It was very, very inexpensive if I do recall correctly. And for some reason it's been my favorite uh, brush to use in my crease. For my crease color I am going to be taking this shadow right here. This is Soba from MAC. And I chose this color because it's pretty much in the same uh, color family as the first two colors we used. Um, it does have some shimmer to it, which is not normally what I like to use in my crease, but for this particular look, we're just going to go with it. So I'm just taking my crease brush and taking that color I just picked up, Soba, and working it back and forth in windshield wiper motions in my crease. I don't want my crease to be super dark, I just want enough that's going to define my eyes. Taking just a fluffy blending brush, um, this is a 224 by MAC. Um, with no product on it, we are just going to go ahead and dry brush. What we just did, it's just going to uh, smooth out any harsh lines that um, I may have created while defining my crease. Next, uh, as far as the last step of shadows go, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Icon Color Icon Palette, and this is in the color Vanity. And I'm going to take my same fluffy blending brush that I've been using and pick up this matte, uh, creamish kind of white color. Um, it's one of the first ones in the palette, and use that as my highlight. And then just kind of blend that downward um, into my crease. Make sure that there's a smooth transition. And then I'm just going to keep the same brush and pick up a little bit more of that color and pop it into my inner corner just to um, brighten up a little bit on the inner corner since we have so much uh, going on on the outer corner. And again, you want to make sure everything is very well blended. For the double lining, I first started off with this very, very intense blue. And for that, I used the Milani Infinite Liquid Liner. And that is what that looks like. And I believe this is in the color, yes, 01 Infinite. Now, I do have a previous video up about how I do my um, winged eyeliner. Um, I don't know, I think it was from a few months back, so if you're curious on step-by-step -step how I do it, um, you can go and check that video out. I will link it in the description box below, and that'll give you a much more in-depth detail on how I do my winged eyeliner. Um, so right now I'm going to briefly explain it, so hopefully you kind of get the concept. Now this liner is a little bit thick in consistency, and it is a little bit hard to work with. It is a brush applicator instead of a felt tip applicator, which is something that I normally don't like. But um, I haven't found anything quite like this that does have a felt tip applicator. I think Sephora makes something similar to it, but I really, really like this color a lot. So this is what we're going to be using. To start off, I am going to very gently um, create a line from the outer corner of my eye and extend it slightly upward. I'm not going to make it as drawn out as this black because I'm going to go over, um, over and a little bit underneath with the black.
So you're going to start by extending that wing out on the side just like that. And then what I like to do is start from like the middle and kind of connect that line and then go back over. The smaller the strokes you use, the easier it's going to be to get a straighter line. The line that you're going to want to make with your blue liner is going to be a thicker line because we're going to place our black liner directly underneath it. So you're going to want to make it twice as thick as you want to make your black line because the black will end up taking half of your blue line, if that made any sense at all. So for my black liner, I'm going to use a black is black felt tip applicator liner and for that I'm going to be using the Maybelline Line Stiletto. That is what it looks like. Um, I don't know, I've used a bunch of felt tip applicators as far as liquid liner goes, and I just really prefer this one. Um, I don't know if it's because of the um, applicator itself, the handle, I find it easier to grip. I find it really um, one of the best liners in terms of if you're not really a pro yet, um, I think it's one of the more easier ones to use. So with the black liner, we're going to follow the same concept. And this you want to extend the wing out just a little slightly more. So there I go. I went and extended the line out directly underneath the blue line and it does extend a little bit further than my blue line did. And then same concept, um, start, you know, filling in on your lash line. find it best that when you're doing wing eyeliner to just kind of um, look at your face from different angles because that way you get the true sense of how your eyes shaped and um, how to make the line and I just find it a lot easier if you um, turn your head as you're doing it. To get such a straight point with the black liner you want to drag it across and then kind of like flick it up at the end. So drag and flick up the end and you will we'll get um, a straight line and you'll get a little tail and point at the end of your liner. For my waterline, I'm just going to keep it relatively simple and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. That is what it looks like and this is in the color perversion. So just apply your favorite mascara and your eyes are done. For this I'm going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume. So that is what the eyes look like. Um, I think it's a very cool, kind of unique, different play on how to wear a winged eyeliner. Um, you don't have to wing it out, but um, I am a big fan of winged eyeliner, so that is what I choose to do. Um, if you're interested on in what I used on my cheeks and what I'm going to do for my lips, then keep watching. So for my cheeks, I'm going to be using this color by NARS. It is the color Luster. It is a... Um, more of a peachy kind of on the orangier side blush which I really like because blue and orange are on the opposite side of the color spectrum if you don't know what I'm talking about then look it up but um, I think that they actually are really complementary when worn correctly together so I'm just gonna be picking up some of that blush on just a stippling brush and kind of focusing that on my cheeks now this is a shimmery kind of blush, so I generally skip um, a highlight when using it. And I prefer to focus my blush more up than just on the apples of my cheeks. For my lips, I'm going to be using something more on like the neutral side. This is Revlon, and it's a matte, and this is in the color Pink Pout. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my lips. 
it's a pretty kind of like pinky nude, um, but it's definitely more on the cooler side. And to even tone that down a little bit more and add a little bit of gloss, I'm going to be using a MAC lip gloss, and this is in the color See Through. So there you have it. This is the completed look. Um, I just think it is a fun way to kind of play up your makeup a little bit. Um, nothing too crazy. I would definitely wear this in the daytime. As you could tell, it is in day outside now. So um, this will be the makeup that I have on the rest of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, once again, I know that some of you have seen this. Some of you haven't. But thank you so much, guys, for being so patient. I've been under the weather lately, and I realize that I have not put up videos as frequently as I have in the past. That is going to change. I feel a ton better. So thank you guys so much for your continued support um, for, you know, watching my videos and subscribing. It really means a lot to me. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye.